Hi, I'm Dwayne. I'm a technician on the Canon or Ose Vario Print 6000 family of production printer. I'm going to go through and show just a few little things that operators can do, operator maintenance style things to keep your machine up and running. The first thing we're going to go over is how to get inside the engine. To do that, you're going to need to get your tools out. They come in a little cubby here. They actually have cut out slots. You have a D style wrench, a 10 millimeter driver, and for some of these things you're going to use heat resistant gloves. These will all be inside this cubby right here. You have to take your 10 millimeter wrench, lift this little door. There's a nut in behind there. Twist that counterclockwise. Then your front doors will open and you're inside the main engine cavity. We're going to go over replacing the spiral cleaners and the sheet cleaners. You've already opened up your front doors. You're going to raise up the upper right hood. Then you're going to raise the left hood. There are actually two doors here, one and then two. You raise those together. Most important part of this is make sure that these tabs catch inside this lever. If they don't, this will fall. It's a bad day for everybody. Once you've raised this side up, lower the upper right hood again, and then lift up both sides of the upper right hood. Again, making sure that you catch right there on that lever. You're going to take your D handle or D wrench. You've got an M, M is in Mary one, N is in Nancy one. These are your cleaning units for your TTF belts. You twist these over, and that unlocks the cleaning unit. Grab the red handle, lift it up, and it unlocks these yellow levers from these tabs, from these pins. Raise that up. Do the same on the other side. You have two different cleaners in here. You've got a sheet cleaner and you've got a spiral cleaner. They will fill up. You'll have to replace these from time to time. I'm going to replace the secondary side. Just know that the secondary and primary sides again are mirror images. So when you replace these, you want to replace these. You're going to reach in. You've got a tab on the back and there's a slot on the front. These are shaped differently. One side has got, a, has got a groove in it. The other side is just a pin. And they fit in these little slots here. The one with the groove has to go in the wider slot. On this side is to the rear. On the primary side is to the front. So you'll have the wider slot on the front. Okay. Once you've pulled the sheet cleaners off, you want to uh, remove these spiral cleaners. I'm going to stop you before you get too deep though. This unit gets really, really hot. So we have special gloves that are made to pull these spiral cleaners. You're going to make sure you put these gloves on beforehand. What I like to do, if I've got to change the cleaners, is go ahead, put the machine to sleep, open everything up first, open up the cleaning units, and let them start getting a little bit of air trying to cool off some. While that's happening, I'll go and get I'll go and get a new sheet cleaner and a new spiral cleaner. Gives this just a little bit of a chance to cool off. You got your gloves on. They don't completely do away with all the heat, but they make it easier to deal with. Again, you're going to reach in and pull this little red tab. You've got a tab on the front, and you've got a tab on the back. And then this slides right out. On this particular spiral cleaner, there is a flat pin on the front, just a pin. And then on the rear, there is a groove to help this lock into place. This particular spiral cleaner is for the micer machines for your checks, that type of toner, or the wax-based toner machines. 
The other machines that use regular toner, we have three other in this room. They have a groove on both the front and the back of the spiral cleaner to lock them in place. You're going to just set your spiral cleaner aside, the old one. Again, be careful with this as it is hot. This toner will stick to the machine. You're going to go ahead, open up and pull out your new spiral cleaner. It's all bright and shiny. There's no toner inside this. Again, with this one, you've got the groove on the back and the straight pin on the front. You're going to lock it in. You have two different sets of tabs. The one at the outside edge or deepest set is where your spiral cleaner goes. You want to make sure that that gets in there where you're going and then it's locked into place. That's your spiral cleaner. Your new sheet cleaner, again, you've got the straight pin. It has no groove. And then you've got the side that has the groove. I'll put the straight pin in the front. It doesn't have to lock in anything. That will allow me to move it back and forth if I need to, to lock it in place on the back bracket. Once that's locked in place, this side is all done. The way that this one turns, is going to be the exact opposite of this, where that groove is on the back, the groove on this side is going to be on the front, but the steps are the same. Remove the tab, and then remove your spiral cleaner. Once those are locked back in, you're going to go back, release the cleaning unit with this red handle, And then release this red handle to lower your cleaning units. And make sure that the yellow brackets go around these pins. Once those are down, you'll now put your wrench on and turn clockwise, which will lock that unit back in. Same one on this side. You're going to close the right hand side, both doors, raise up the upper, close the left hand side, both doors. On this side you may need to pull to the front just a little bit to get it to slide down there. You want to make sure that this sensor is over this bracket, this little switch. That will show that this door is closed. Then come back, close the upper hood on the right side. Then you'll close your front doors. Make sure you get this screwed in nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten it. Just make sure it's snug so that these doors don't move. Close the lower door. And then you'll wake your machine up with the moon button. When your machine tells you that those need to be replaced, you'll actually have a maintenance. You'll have a maintenance indicator top across the top of the screen with a wrench, and it'll tell you to go into maintenance. You'll hit that button. Right now, those cleaners are not due, so that message isn't indicated here. But like you can see these, you'll have a message indicated to replace your spiral cleaners or replace your cleaners. It'll be on this message or on this screen. You'll start that message, tell it to start, and the different steps it gives you, all the steps that I did, you'll say yes, I've done those. You hit the next button to move to the next page of steps. When you get to the end, it will ask you a question, did you replace those with new cleaners or the existing cleaners? If you replace the cleaners, you tell it new. If you did not replace the cleaners, please don't tell it new and then continue because you'll have what's called an overflow where all the toner that builds up inside here will actually begin to spill out the front or the rear side of the cleaner and 
make a big mess through the machine that you almost have to take the frame apart to clean up. A lot of hammering and, and beating on things to build all, break all that toner loose. That stuff gets really hard like lava. So make sure that if you didn't change it, don't tell it you did. And that is replacing the spiral cleaners and sheet cleaners in the main engine of the Vario print family. You take care of your machine, your machine's going to take care of you. I'm Dwayne. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.